Carmen San Diego. And one of these gumshoes could find her. She's traveled to Florida and Louisiana and likes reading mysteries. Meet Danielle McMillan. He's been to the Boston Museum of Science and enjoys collecting cards. Meet Rashad Bell. She speaks Ukrainian and likes to swim and play the viola. Meet Andrea Ferrand. What an audience. Thanks, you guys. Hey, listen, they're with me every day. Ragabella. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen, a quick reminder for you guys. Uh, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so let's get started. Chief, who are we after? This is Robo Crook. Robo Crook. Screws in his head, bolts for brains. Follow his trail of Rustoleum stains. His last known whereabouts, Prague, Czech Republic. Every hour on the hour for over 500 years, crowds have gathered before Prague's old town hall to watch the astronomical clock put on its show. In addition to telling time, this amazing clock also tells the date and corresponding holiday, the day's length, the phases of the moon, the position of the zodiac, even the time until the next solstice. Rebuilt and added on to over the centuries, this medieval marvel has withstood the many tests of time. But time ran out on the clock today. When Robocrook saw it was time to get a new watch, he rolled into Old Town, clamped his claws on the clock, then counted down to blast off. Now he has no excuse for tardiness. Gumshoes. Catch that clock copping crock pot and crack today's case. <laughs> Time X. Oh, yeah. Nice a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, trying to find Robo and the astronomical clock. To help you out, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the most score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? So let's get started with our very first clue, which comes to us from two agents from Acme Fresh Feline Net. Here is Bite and Scratch. Now the Robo's juice was running low. So he went to northern Mexico. He's hanging just east of Sonora State. Letting his batteries recuperate. Cook a question, his electric first. Where the world's smallest dogs were noticed first. Most dogs are whacked, but these are tame. And this state is where they got their name. That the news and the clues don't meditate. Send Robo Pack and two stamp license, license plates. Very nice. Thanks, guys. Yeah. yeah. Gumshoes, name the Mexican state, if you will, please. Is it Nuevo Leon, Chihuahua, or Baja California Sur? Remember the clues that we heard. Located in northern Mexico, just east of state of Sonora, and world's smallest dog breed discovered here. Once you're ready, hold those cards up just like this, nice and high, so I know you're ready. And everybody is. Andrea, what do you say? Chihuahua. Uh, Chihuahua. Rashad, what do you think? I said Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Danielle? I said Chihuahua. Everyone said Chihuahua. Everybody is right. Thank you. Way to go, guys. All right, nice job. For our very next clue, then, let's go now to... Uh, it's a video music clue, Greg. Yes, yes, yes. I love these babies. All I got to do is plug it in just like this. I turn it on. There it is. Wait a minute. This is, this is Shonen Knife. Yeah, this is an all-girl rock trio from a country due east of Korea. They named themselves after a popular band, A Pocket Knife, there. Yeah, the band members have been huge fans of U.S. and British rock and roll ever since they were kids. And Shonen Knife Sound is a cool mix of 60s pop music and late 70s punk. Cool. See, these days, Shonen Knife has big fans of their own. Members of bands like Nirvana and Sonic Youth have come to their shows, and over 30 U.S. groups got together to record a Shonen Knife tribute album. You gotta love these guys, they're great. Cool. All right, guys. Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Japan, 
Philippines or Vietnam. Remember the clues that we heard? It is due east of Korea and home country of Shonen Knife. Once you're ready, hold the cards up nice and high so I know you're ready. Andrea is ready, so is Danielle. Rashad, you got yours? Yes, he does. Okay, uh, Andrea, what do you say? I chose Japan. Japan, Rashad? I chose Japan. Same thing, Danielle? I said Japan. You guys are something else, and you're all right once again. Thank you. Now it's time for one of my most favorite parts of the show, the lightning round. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, all these are worth uh, five at me crime books, and they're about Robo Crook's most recent known whereabouts, which is Japan. So hands on the buzzers, guys. Listen carefully. Here is the first question. I got to show you something. Okay, everybody take a look at these. You see these? You see those? Huh? Okay. These tabi, or white socks, are worn with a traditional kimono. Why is the big toe separated like this? For, uh, is it for more big toe room, for more big toe warmth, or to fit a sandal strap? Andrea. To fit a sandal strap? Is right. Nice job. Bye for you. Uh, and here's, I need someone else for this. Is, is Sean here? Where's Sean? Sean, I'll take anybody. Give me anybody. Give me anybody. For, uh, yeah, here's my lovely assistant, Frank, everybody. <laughs> okay, now watch this. When two kids in Japan lock pinkies, give me your other pinky, like this. Yeah, very good. It's a symbol of something. Are they making a promise, planning a prank, or doing a Japanese high five, Rashad? Making a promise. Is right. Nice job, Rashad. Thank you, Frank. Okay, guys, this is going to take you up to 75. Here's the last question. When Japanese students are finished eating lunch, it's time for soji. Uh, when all students do this, is it make fun of their teacher's time, scrub their classrooms, or trade baseball cards? Danielle? Um, scrub the classroom. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Way to go, guys. Very, that's a tie game. That's about as close as you can get. Nice job, guys. Uh, wait a minute. Yes. In my office, right away. You guys, looks like the chief needs me. I'm going to check with her. Meet me in the alley. I have something very special for you. The chief needs me. Chief, what's up? Oh. Sure, but I think we just experienced an earthquake. Well, not exactly. It was actually an earthquake. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Greg, it's a well-known fact. The center of the earth consists of a giant duck. Now, most of the time, the duck is asleep. But sometimes it wakes up and uh, you have to feed it. Uh -huh. uh, that's why I need your help. We have to do the contest. Well, all right. We'll do it quietly. Right, okay. All right. right. Write down what got stolen and from where each time you watch the show. When you collect the bar loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York 10163. Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen t-shirt. Here's who won today. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to the winners. winners. No, all right, you go over and open up the earth and I'll get the duck chow. Right, okay, it's the earth. Okay. I gotta, oh, well, here it is right here. Yeah. Good. <laughs> the concept of a giant duck at the center of the earth is fictional and is intended solely for entertainment purposes. The center of the earth actually consists of a lot of complicated gases and minerals that it would take a long time to explain and aren't very funny anyway. <coughs> ah, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Well. That seemed to work. Hey, I gotta tell you, Chief, I feel a lot closer to you since uh, we, you know, experienced our first earthquake together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Chief? You're on your own. <sighs> Got that taken care of. Okay, guys, ready for a little training exercise? Yep. Yeah, good answer. Come right this way. Everybody grab a trash can. What you guys are going to do is help me hunt for clues. They're going to help us find our crook, and what better place to find clues than right here in the trash can. Here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to take the lid like this. You will lift it off like this. Wow. Whoa! It might warm in here. You'll find a card like this one. It'll have the flag of the country that we're looking for on one side. It'll have a clue on the other side. Then, to finish the assignment, you take the lid like this and put it on top of the trash can like that. That's when you're done, okay? Let's see how fast you guys can do this. On your mark, get set, go! Cheer them on, guys, cheer them on. Find the clue, find the clue. <laughs> yeah! That's the put the top of the lid up. One, two, and three. Nice job, guys. It went Andrea, then Danielle, and then down here. Okay, so Andrea, what does your card say? 
Capital. Capital. I can tell you the capital of this country is Port-au-Prince. How about you, Danielle? Language. Language. Many citizens speak Creole in this country. And Rashad, what does yours say? Locator. Look for this country on, on the island of Hispaniola, okay? So, Andrea, you finished first. You get the first crack at this. What country are we talking about? Is it Jamaica, Haiti, or Dominican Republic? Haiti. Haiti is right. Nice job. <laughs> Ten crime bucks for you. Nice job, guys. Okay, that sound means one thing. It's getting something in now from Acme Bugnet. Let's check the phone tap. Head for a country on the Balkan Peninsula, just west of the Aegean Sea. It was the home of Hippocrates. Hippocrates, H-I-P. Would you turn off your spell check? Hippocrates was a great doctor who lived during the 5th century. Many doctors today still swear to his oath of medical ethics. Ethics are not in my database. Of course not. Ethics are about morals, principles, doing what's right and good. Can you imagine? Can crooks have ethics? Yes, Robo. Carmen's code of criminal ethics. Steal the best, leave the rest, and bring it back to Carmen. <laughs> okay, guys, name the country where Robo has taken the clock. Is it Italy, Croatia, or Greece? Remember the clues that we heard? Balkan Peninsula, west of Aegean, and home of Hippocrates. And hold those cards up nice and high so I know you're ready. Danielle is ready. Andrea is ready. Rashad's still thinking about it. Now he's ready. Andrea, what do you think? I said Greece. Greece. Rashad, what do you say? I said Greece. Same thing, Danielle. I said Greece. You guys are in agreement a lot this time, and you're right most every time. Good job. Wow. Let's recap the scores really quick. Andrea, the takes it a 95. Rashad, 85. Danielle, 85. Acme Crime Bucks. But more good news. We just heard that Robo Crook has left Greece. So let's pick up the chase. Ooh, the chase. Thank you. Oh, that's sweet of you. Thank you very much. You all right? Okay, guys, all these worth five Acme Crime Bucks. So hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Robo rocked the clock to the capital of Romania. Name it. Andrea? Bucharest. Is right. Next, he bolted to Bulgaria. What river did he cross? Rashad? The Rhine. Sorry, it's Danube. Uh, Robo took the timepiece to the island of Chios. What sea did he cross? Andrea? The Aegean. Uh, is right. Uh, from Chios, he chartered a jet to Macedonia. What country did he fly over, uh, Andrea? Greece. Is right. From Macedonia, he whooshed west across the border. What country, Andrea? Albania. Is right. That means at the end of the chase round. Andrea has 115, Rashad 85, and Daniel 85. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. And as you know, all of our uh, answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Okay, guys, it's time for the final clue this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here is a portion of the world where we think Robo is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. Is ready. Andrea, do you have your selection? And Rashad is ready as well. Okay, guys, for our final clue, we now go to a person. Oh, Greg! Oh, wait a minute. Greg! Wait a minute. That sounds like uh, the new girl that just moved in, Edwina. Let me, let me go check and see what she wants. Hi, Edwina. How's it going? Hi, Greg. Oh, look. <laughs> Look what I brought you. Oh, hey, it's a picture. Mm -hmm. You know what? As soon as I get a chance, I will hang it on my wall right next to my picture of the Chiefs. Oh, okay, but but it's a clue. Oh, and it see, is. Look. Yeah. See, it's a house in a village in a country that borders Mali. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it's an old tradition there for women to paint their houses in really colorful, special designs. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, they learn it from their mothers, and then they pass it on to their daughters. Oh, cool. Well, what do they uh, paint their houses with? You really want to know? Yeah. Oh, uh, great. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, <laughs> okay. Th now, the outside is made of, like, mud. Yeah. And then they paint on it with colors that they get from plants and colored clay. Edwina, that is so interesting. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you like purple and gold? Yeah, I like purple and gold. Good. <laughs> well, I gotta go because I I'm auditioning for American Gladiators. Oh. <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Yes, the American Gladiators. If she gets the part, her name will be Ignito. Gumshoes, name the country. Is it Chad, Angola, 
or Mauritania. Remember the clues that we heard? Borders Mali, tradition of women painting brightly colored houses. This is the final clue this round, you guys. So once you're ready, take those answer cards and lay them down there right beside you. Andrea is ready, so is uh, Rashad, and so is Danielle. All right, Danielle, we're going to start with you. You have 85 Acme Crime Bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30 Crime 30 Bucks. 30 Crime Bucks. What did you say, Danielle? I said Angola. Angola is not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 30. Oh. And the audience is here to help you through it, but anything could happen. Rashad, you're at 85 as well. Uh, how much did you risk? Well, Greg, I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks as well. What did you say, Rashad? I said Chad. Chad is not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 30 crime bucks, and the audience is here to help you as well. Andre, you have 115. Anything could still happen here. How much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks as well. What did you say, Andrea? And... I also said Chad. Chad, so you're going to go down 30 Acme Crime Bucks, and the awe is there. The answer we're looking for was more Tanya, but let's see how this works out. Andrea, you're definitely going on to the next round. Rashad and Danielle, you're both at 55. We've got to do a tiebreaker between the two of you to find out who's going to go on with Andrea to the next round. Here's how it's going to work. Get the buzzers in your hand. What's going to happen is I'm going to start naming places, cities, things in a certain state. The first one of you that rings in and gives me the correct answer will then go on to the next round with Andrea, okay? So quiet in the audience as we do this. Here we go. Kitty Hawk. Danielle. North Carolina. Is right. Nice job, Danielle. Going on to the next round. Rashad, buddy, nice work. You took it all the way down to the end. You did some great stuff for us. We got some great stuff for you, Chief. You did great detective work, but that robo crook is one sly cyborg. So, to help on your next case, I'm sending you off with this official Acme gumshoe gear. You'll get an Atlas, this cool crime net cap with the Acme logo in front. The official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, and the all-new Acme Stealth Pen Quarter. It's the latest from Crime Net Labs for writing and recording messages. Writing and recording messages. Congratulations! Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, we're well, in more We don't want to waste any time, so we're going to modem ourselves there to do that. We have to take a deep breath. Hold it for as long as you can, Great. and Are then... Are you in the gumshoes ready to mow them? Yes, Chief, we're ready. Let's do it. <laughs> wow, okay, we made it. Here's our place right over here. Come on, let's go. Okay, you guys know where to go. I'm going to be standing here. Chief will be here in just a little bit with some very important information, so listen very carefully. Chief, what can you tell us? Okay, there are 15 places here in Mauritania where you might find Robo Crook, the Warrant, or the Astronomical Clock. Let's look at a few of them. First, case the coast near Nouakchott. Nouakchott is Mauritania's capital, major port, and uh -oh. biggest city. And just like big cities everywhere, parking your boat is a major hassle. But if you want to park your camel, then Nima's the place to go. Nima's an important trading town where traders crossing the Sahara often stop to feed and rest their camels and, you guessed it, trade stuff. Next up, don't miss the housewares department at Mauritania's Neiman Marcus. Oh, just kidding, gumshoes. This is a home in the village of Baruch. Those items displayed on the wall are used only for ceremonial occasions. Finally, be sure to debrief the locals in the town of Ualata. Judging by the look on the face of this guy, it's a sure bet that Robo was there. That's your briefing, gumshoes. Now motor into Mauritania, round up Robo, and recapture the clock. We'll do it, Chief. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, it's loot, warrant, and crook in that order. Andrea, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. University of Nouakchott. Oh, very good. University of Nouakchott. <laughs> Nothing there. We turn it back around. Danielle, your turn. National Museum. National Museum. Nothing there. We turn it around. Andre, your turn. The Grand Marche. Ah, yes. It is an uh, open-air market. The Grand Marche. Robocrook. Nice job. You found Robocrook. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Go ahead, Andre. University of Nouakchott. University of Nouakchott. <laughs> nice strategy. We turn both back around. Yes, we do. Danielle, your turn. Adrar Hills. Uh, Adrar Hills. <laughs> Nothing there, as we know by the sound. We turn it back around. Andre, your turn. Kumbi Sali Ruins. Uh, Kumbi Sali Ruins. Oh, wow. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Danielle, your turn. Sahil Region. Uh, Sahil Region. <coughs> Nothing there. We turn it around. Andrea. Armor Gar Pass. Armor Gar Pass. <coughs> Nothing there. We turn it around. That's all I'm getting for the whole show. Okay, go ahead, Danielle. 
Sahara Sandrifts. Sahara Sandrifts. The warrant. Nice job. You got the warrant. You get a free turn. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Be careful, Danielle. Adrar Hills. Adrar Hills. Whoa, whoa. Nice strategy. We turn both back around. Andrea, go ahead. Senegal River. Senegal River. Take and ticker. You have the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Sahara Sandrifts. Sahara Sandrifts. The warrant. The loot and the warrant. Can you find Robo Crook? Grand Marche. Is Grand, is uh, Robo Crook still at the Grand Marche? Yeah! Hey, you there you go, buddy. Find this way. Find the champion in jail. Robo Crook in jail. Nice job, job Andre. We'll talk to you just a little bit. First off, you got your pretty all over you. It feels pretty good. But we got some great stuff for you. Chief, what do we have? There's no denying the important help you gave us today. Without your hard work, that crook might still be free. In honor of your achievements, you'll receive this terrific Acme gumshoe gear. Plus, two of these amazing Acme secret symbols. Then you and a friend can secretly communicate through the air. Just type in your message, press this button, and zap! It appears on the other secret sender. It's also a pocket organizer and a control for your TV and VCR. From all of us at Acme, congratulations. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, Andrea, here is your portfolio inside a piece of paper and a pen. What I want you to do is open it up right down where you like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego. You know what to do. Boys, sing that song. <laughs> We do. Okay, now all we need is a phone call. There it is. Hello? Yes, she's right here. Hold on. It's for you. Hello? A virus has infected my system software. It causes me to divulge Carmen's location. You'll find her in South America. Please don't say that I sent you. Okay, now we know where Carmen is. Let's find out more about it. Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. French Guiana, Uruguay, Suriname, Paraguay, Paraná River, Guyana, Argentina, Lake Titicaca, Venezuela, Chile, Colombia, Orinoco River, Ecuador. Greg, let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> Come right this way. You ready for this? Yes. You know what you're doing, right? Yep. All right, I'll explain to those who may not know. What you've got to do is identify eight locations in 45 seconds. When you're right, you will hear this sound. When you're wrong, though, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, don't worry about it. Leave the mark where it is. We go on to the next one. If you're right, though, eight times in 45 seconds, you're going to get that tripped anywhere in North America. And also remember this. When you see one of these, we're talking about a body of water, okay? So if it's a lake, if it's a river, that's what you want to look for, okay? How many hours do you think you've studied for this thing? I have no idea. No idea? Like countless hours? Um... One hour? No. 20 minutes? No. We'll never know. We may never know, ladies and gentlemen. But are you ready to do this thing? Yes. You ready to do it, guys? Yeah! Come right this way, then. Grab that marker right there. 45 seconds. I'm going to clock. Be sure to make lots of noise, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come with that. So it's in Paraguay. 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 Go, buddy. Paraguay. Paraguay. Go. Go. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Guyana. Guyana. Georgetown, Guyana. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Ecuador. Quito, Ecuador. Ecuador. Do it, buddy. Ecuador. Whoa, here we go. Watch it. Yeah. Colombia. Bogota, Colombia. Colombia. Do it, buddy. Colombia. Yeah, yeah. Uruguay. 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 Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca. Lake, Lake, Lake Titicaca. Yeah. Let's run. Finish right now. Finish right now. Finish right now. Go. Go. Come on. Paraná River. Paraná River. Paraná River. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Come here. We don't know how long you study, but it must have worked. How do you feel? Good. Oh, good. Very good. That's very calm. Good. Listen, you wrote down where you'd like to go if you caught Carmen San Diego. You and a parent are going to. Let's get packing. Utah. Look at that, pal. Excellent job. You were doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is?
information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.